Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Wednesday the 15th of August. So looking at the Euro dollar first and well, um, this recent movement yesterday saw the, the trend, near term trend continue, well this overall trend continue in terms of the, div the downward price action. Um, I did a quick measure yesterday in terms of the, the, this wedge and it, it could still run off uh, off some more but uh, did a, a life for life measure let's just uh, pop that on there for you so you see what I was referring to I sort of just did a measure that it, it sort of, of the wedge expectation is around about 290 uh, pips there uh, what's it done so far well getting on for two new, ooh, it's pretty close there it's probably one for one now now what I'm seeing on the uh, four hour time frame here is a bit of divergence across uh, both the MACD and the RSI whichever you prefer there is a bit of MACD uh, divergence to say as well so the, we could see a bit more of a bounce now if we're looking just purely at this four hourly time frame then where, where would we look towards well maybe back if it starts uh, pushing on through towards the 21 moving average would be the uh, logical area uh, uh, sort of initially however um, it's not when you start coming down time frames that there's plenty in the way so uh, the shorter time frames may just uh, stifle things yes we've got daily pivot above which is um, uh, certainly a, a, a draw uh, but then you start running into the key 50 moving average uh, which uh, for 21 before then uh, but uh, there's the pivot the f and then the, the, the 50 MA which as I say may just stifle things the downward trend may just continue to uh, prevail um, but if it, if it can break through this area then well that, uh, that uh, 4 hourly 21 sort of area there at 14.03 uh, would be a sort of a, a logic, logical sort of target which uh, is, is really only up towards that uh, the, well it's just uh, short of the daily uh, R1 there so it's a possibility okay pound what we're seeing here again sold off solid downward trend reacted to an air kiss of the uh, weekly pivot there uh, yesterday and has been pretty uh, pretty much sold off since then again though there's there are signs of a bit of a divergence more, more so on the 40 uh, well, uh, I'll discount that probably on, on the uh, MACD yeah. well yeah MACD is showing it there um, don't really like the RSI divergences when the RSI has come up quite so high in between so but uh, just looking at the MACD it's set on a slower setting so it uh, gives me a sort of a different view um, so that's hence why I cross backwards and forwards between the two um, that looks okay still so there is the same sort of divergence across these markets which would suggest we've seen the dollar uh, dollar the euro doing that there may be a, a divergence on the dollar index itself um, and of course the pound is pretty correlated at the moment so um, there we are seeing it here as well where to now well again you, sorry I'll go back to the four alley from where we see it initially where it's already hit the 21 so maybe that may pitch towards that weekly pivot and actually catch it and maybe run through to the 50 and get some upward momentum um, and looking from where we are now well still still the potential as with the euro of selling off this is sitting bang into its uh, 60 minute 21 here it's had a bit of a test on the previous buy it's toying with it at the moment um, if it if it, it fails from here well we may may be matching uh, the sort of pre uh, the the previous lows there but uh, if it can hang in there we can and we can break up in the next four hours maybe um, uh, we could see a move up to the daily pivot and as I say beyond looking uh, probably a bit further there at some point uh, dollar yen so dollar yen awkward all, awkward pairing because of uh, its use as a, as a, a point of safety um, it finally closed up yesterday on a positive uh, move here uh, a pivot swing closed in so it's uh, looking right for some uh, further upside here now um, let me just look at this four hourly and it's it's, it's, it's ticking along um, the 
the problem with it in a sense is uh, <laughs> it uh, moves completely opposite at times to uh, a lot of the other pairings and it becomes a safety play so you can be in what looks like a, 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 a show of weakness and all of a sudden money comes into the yen so uh, that's the that's the risk with it now here too we have a divergence kicking in here so it would make sense if the pound and the euro were rallying we would see this running down of course against the uh, US dollar so um, we, at the moment what's it looking like it really looking at this picture you high lows high highs it looks like it could just continue upside maybe if risk is taken and what the risk elements coming or I say coming off but effectively coming back on so uh, people are willing to take risk we could see that the uh, yen pushes uh, continues to push up um, and it misses its daily pivot however it starts selling off breaking through the 21 the daily pivot is an obvious factor uh, and maybe it will roll over and break this current upward trend but uh, the trend is the overall trend on the bigger mark, bigger price action is still positive on the yen okay um, that's the yen and uh, Aussie dollar let's just get the Aussie dollar be good there we go um, Aussie dollar daily wise it's been weak um, it's really been sho shoving off there so I'm just looking there's no sort of uh, office divergences it's broken everything there um, weak on the basis um, I was talking about in the room yesterday in terms of the um, the effect of the trade wars etc um, so it's uh, it's struggling it's um there's, there's arguably a bit of divergence kicking across what were lows there but not on the not on the MACD only showing it on this shorter term RSI um let's have a look up the time frame seeing a little bit here maybe uh on the RSI here as well could pitch up a little bit more um looking towards the, uh, I mean if these markets run up daily pivot again seems obvious but just like the euro uh, it's got resistance almost straight afterwards um, said there's a bit of divergence maybe on the RSI here which could see it come back towards that 4 hourly 21 so if, if we see these markets there's some strength in these markets a bit of dollar weakness there are some decent targets to the upside okay finally Canadian dollar then um, again pivot swing here to the downside which would suggest it's going to see more strength in this particular case uh, for the uh, CAD this this makes a little bit more sense I like it more than uh, say the dollar yen uh, but it's, it is working more uh, closely with the uh, European cur currencies arguably um, but um, slightly <laughs> um, it's uh, got the potential to roll over so a bit more here a bit more strength coming through um, it's just coming down the four hourly so it's back into its pivot there not really showing me too much there daily pivots being hit well you've got this sort of uh, to me it looks like possibly the cleanest setup at the moment whether that will <laughs> hold on knowing the Canadian dollars uh, um, so so awkward sometimes it's some morning but if this does continue selling off uh, well we could be on for the S1 at some point you see a continuation another step down here so it's uh, it's shaping up right at the moment but uh, whether that holds we'll see now news wise today um, we ha uh, we do have data coming out at 9.30 we've got the inflation data uh, for the UK a very key number there for the pound um, and retail sales for the US at uh, 1.30 so um, and retail sales retail, okay, yeah, okay yeah the retail sales there crude oil inventories maybe later on which will affect something like the Canadian dollar as well of course um, so there are there are some numbers coming out uh, 9 9 30 1 30 3 30 the key times to be aware of those okay have a great day bye for now mm -hmm.